I'm not even going to look in the mirror. It's actually not standing next to you. <laughs> First to face the dragons is Theresa Pope from Buckinghamshire. I want the dragons to love our product. They will either get it instantly um, or they might take, but if they get it, they'll get it straight away. Leggings, stockings. You've looked at that and assumed that was about leggings. <laughs> you don't think it's about them things stuck on her boobs? I love you, Tuka. <laughs> Tuka Suleiman may have only just caught up, but Teresa believes her products could become bestsellers. I'm bringing something into the den that could actually solve your worst nightmare. So will her faith in the potential of her business be shared in the den? Hello, Dragons. I'm Theresa Pope, co-founder of Dandy London, and I'm looking for £150,000 for 30% of our business. Standing in front of anyone presenting, let alone the Dragons, on national TV can be daunting. But imagine if I was stood here with visible underarm sweat marks. I would be so embarrassed, my confidence levels would go, I'd rush through this and want to get out of here. It would not go well for me. So we created the Dandy Patch. It's a super thin, super absorbent patch. It sticks to the underarm area. It absorbs all sweat and odour. It's so discreet, you can wear it under anything. Nobody would know. And it's also a healthy alternative to deodorants and antiperspirants because it contains no parabens, no aluminiums, and it allows the armpits to sweat naturally. Dasha is going to demonstrate how to apply the patch. So you first take off the adhesive protective layer and then you apply it to the armpit area. And this is what keeps it in place and what makes it work because it's such a thin membrane. You just take it off then and then she's good to go for the rest of the day. We've recently added new problem-solving products to our range, including a painless unisex hair remover and unisex reusable nipple covers that prevent unwanted protrusions, and it is a thing for both women and men. Dash is also wearing our nipple covers. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I, I did find myself staring at your boobs, to yeah. be fair, and I thought, lucky it was me, not, not the guys, but, I, <laughs> but it works very well. Yeah. <laughs> Underarm pads designed to conceal evidence of excessive sweating, alongside hair removers and unisex nipple covers, are the offering from Teresa Pope. Thank you, Dasha. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Teresa is seeking £150,000 in return for a 30% share in her business. Oh, you tried one on? Yeah, I've got the nipple covers on. Oh, you have? Yeah. Yeah. And? Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Bartlett's nipples may have gone undercover, but are the dragons about to expose a money-making opportunity? Teresa. Yes. So let's talk about the hero product, OK? So you sell them as a pack of ten. We do. So what does the pack of ten of these retail for? $8.99. And what does it cost you? It costs us two ninety six at the moment. So give me a little bit of a flavour of where you're selling them at. Um, we sell them on our own website. We have recently started selling them on Amazon UK and Amazon in the US. Yeah. And Walmart have just taken us in the US and a company called Hudson Bay in Canada. Oh, brilliant. So how long has the business been going? How long ago did you start all of this? Oh, gosh. We first came up with the initial idea in 2011. Mm -hmm. So it's been a good five to seven years journey for us to get to this point. So at what point did you start generating revenue? We went to market with this product towards the end of 2017. Mm -hmm. That year, we turned over 11, uh, 13,500. Mm -hmm and a net loss of 187,000. So our revenue for the next year was yep. 43,000 pounds and our net loss was 125,000 pounds. So then 2019 was uh, 41,500. Our net profit was 120,000 loss. Right. And then we went into 2020 where numbers were 32,000 turnover. Mm -hmm and a net loss of £30,000. 
and then our 2021 figures, we've just had 20,600 and a net loss of 96,000. Um, and then this year, our turnover will be around 32,000 pounds. Yeah. And our net loss is going to be, we anticipate 150,000. So what is the total net loss to date in the business since you started? It's around 700,000. Yeah. Wow. So I've got to ask, what are you spending all that money on every year? Yeah, we've had a heck of a journey in regards of manufacturing. We thought it would be a really simple product to make and we couldn't understand why there was nothing out there. Yeah. Um, two or three years down the line, we actually realised why there's nothing out there because it, it's a really technical product. OK. And um, patents has been quite expensive. We're pretty well covered with our patents. Oh, that's good. Um, yes. Devising and protecting a solution to the sweat patch problem has come at a substantial cost. So does a product savvy Peter Jones feel that Teresa's time and money have been well spent? Teresa, I've got to say, I think the packaging, the way that you've branded everything and put everything together is brilliant. Thank you. This looks straightforward, but this isn't easy to get the right packaging. Thank you. And get it done in such a good way. Mm. What's the specific patents? So the key things that make the product work, we have granted. I'm really interesting about Hudson Bay. Talk me through what they've, what they've said about the listing and what their commitment has been? Um, well, we're doing it on a trial basis at the moment to see how it goes. I mean, it's very, very early stages yet. OK. Theresa, um, I, I have to say, I, I did actually put on... I'm, I think I'm the only dragon that's actually tried your products on. OK. So... No, 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 I tried the underarm pads, just not under my arm. <laughs> Don't think that's the intended use. Where did you put it? I just, I just I stuck it on my arm to practice the adhesive. I put it inside. I I, I put it inside I, the forearm, I put it inside the underarm, and I put the nipple patches on. Well, that's, so I would consider myself right. an expert. So you win, all right? You <laughs> yeah. win. Let's just be clear, he wins. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I, I think they're really, really good quality, and they actually serve Thank the you. purpose. I popped it on my nipple, and it, it seemed to just disappear. Yes. And it was held there really, really securely. Yeah. So give me the forecast, then, for next year and the year after. Our forecast is 595,000 with a 90,000 marketing investment. Without the investment? I would say we're looking at getting 40, 45, because we're not really marketing. And what loss? We're probably looking at over 100,000. Loss? Loss. Oh. Do you know what? This is going to be a first for me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you to stop. Oh, gosh, no. It's not worth I'll losing. I'll tell you why. You're going to get to a million in losses in two years. Because if we invest £90,000 in, market, in, in marketing... Do you know where to invest it in marketing? We would be looking at social media. OK, where lot. on social media? Facebook actually seems to be doing... What's your return on advertising spend on Facebook? Ad? Uh, we've only been putting on £14 here, £14 there. So you've not done it? No. Don't assume that a £90,000 investment in work... a platform yeah. you've never investigated We're just working on our customer be a good retention, idea. Um, on our customer acquisition costs, which is about £7 that we worked out. Honestly, listen. I don't think you should carry on this business because I'm really concerned about the, the financial state it might leave you in. You've, you're going to lose about a million pounds if you carry, in total if you carry on this for another 24 months. I'm going to congratulate you for creating a great Thank product, product, but I'm going to say that I'm out. A blow for Teresa as a cautionary Stephen Bartlett turns down the deal. Will Tuka Suleiman be prepared to plough £150,000 into preventing perspiration? If you'd come in here mm -hmm. and said, look, I've got this great idea. Yep. We've lost X amount. I've got it right. Mm -hmm. I want 30,000 mm -hmm. because I want a dragon on board. Yeah. Will you back me? I would have said, yeah, it's worth a punt. But you've come in here with 150,000. And that's your fatal mistake we're coming into the den. You're asking too much money. And for that reason, mm -hmm. I'm not going to invest them out. Thank you. Thank you. Teresa, your history tells me you don't listen. 
Mm. Because you have been told from about four years after you first launched your business, mm -hmm. you've got a problem. And you haven't stopped to understand what that problem no. is. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And mm. honestly, to come in here mm -hmm. and expect me to, all you're asking for is to plug next year's hole. So next year, you might break even. And I'm not, no, I'm not going to do it, just no. so you know. But if I won't do it, mm -hmm. you shouldn't do it. Right. Don't spend a penny no. more. No. Anyway, you know where I'm going. I'm afraid I won't be investing. I'm out. Two more dragons have joined Stephen Bartlett in bowing out, and Theresa is rapidly running out of options. Is Sarah Davies willing to trade profits from crafting kits for a future in stain-free pits? I think you've got a brilliant product. And we haven't even dug into your patents, mm -hmm. but given that you spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands on yes. them, I'm going to guess that they're pretty extensive yes. and cover a lot of territories. Yes. And I look and I think, it's a genuine problem that you're solving. Yeah. I was sitting here thinking, this might be a good investment to put my money in. Mm -hmm. The problem I've got is, I don't want to run no. a sweat patch company. So I'm really sorry, Theresa, but I won't be investing and I'm out. OK, thank you. I think you've taken a lot of flack today. <laughs> and I think you've taken it for the wrong reasons. I like, I like the product and I'm yes. not always complimentary. I think where you've invested all your money mm -hmm. is actually in protecting something that could be genius. It could be huge. So I think you have not wasted your money. And I don't think you should stop spending more money either. Mm -hmm. And that's why I totally disagree with the other dragons. Mm -hmm. I think it's where you spend the money. Yes. I would invest as much as you can in a salesperson. Yes. That has been there and done it and got the T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Because I think you then have a chance of recovering. Yes. More than the 700,000 you've invested in the next three years. Mm -hmm. However, this is not an investment for me no. because you need to demonstrate that people will adopt and buy this product. Yes. If you come in in four months' time and Hudson Bay have given you orders, mm -hmm. your order book would have got an investment from me today. Right. But without that, it's too risky. And that's why I'm saying I'm out. But Thank I'm telling you. you, don't give up. Thank you very much. Good luck, much. Teresa. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sadly for Teresa, she must leave the den with nothing though failing to secure a deal appears to be no sweat for the antiperspirant entrepreneur. Peter's comments have really helped because, you know, we do, we do understand that the, the business potential there. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. You think she should carry on going with that business? I really do, yeah. All she needs is a salesperson. We're not going to give up. Never. <laughs>